Hey, hey family, it's your girl Evelyn and I am back with another video and today I have a massive haul, like massive. I've got skincare, body care, makeup. I've got stuff from Sephora, Ulta, the cosmetics company outlet. I've got some gifts. I got some stuff actually from TJ Maxx, but it's all, you know, like Sephora level type, a little bit of luxe in there, and I am excited to share. So let me start with let me start with what I actually got at Home Goods because I hit the jackpot. Well, TJ Maxx Home Goods, you know how like when they have them together sometimes, and they have a cosmetic section. Every now and again, you can find some some really good products in there for an amazing amazing deal. And when that happens, y'all, I'm a stalker upper. So. Um, let me tell y'all that. So when I was growing up, right. Okay. Quick story. And I'm gonna tell you, cause you're going to see like multiples of things. So when I was growing up, uh, myself, my mother, my mother's best friend, my mother's best friend's mother were all in the same sorority. Okay. And so I had found these pink and green Bibles right at this store. And so I was like, Oh my gosh, this is the prettiest little Bible or whatever. So I bought one and I brought it with me to show them and the look on my godmother my mom's best friend and her mother's face was like was there only one and I was like well no and I y'all I will never forget this phrase they were like and you didn't buy all that they had <laughs> and they sent me back to the store to buy every single one right and so I don't know why it may not have been for the best but that has been ingrained in me that when I see something that's amazing or that is like a consumable or that would be a good gift or something like that it's like just buy all that they have right like just buy all that the store has and so you're gonna you're gonna see a little bit of that here so let's start with home goods unless it's just excessive right like unless it's like 10 12 or something and I don't need that many so let's just start with what I found at Home Goods. First things first is I picked up the uh, Ula Ola Hendrickson. This is the sheer. Is it gonna? There we go. The sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer, y'all. I got this for ten dollars. This is usually thirty forty dollars. I picked up two of these. Okay, this is the blue one. I've used this before. I really really liked it. I just you know what I'm saying like. You're going to give me for 10 and I know that it's 35 plus $40. I think it's like $38. I'll have all the links in the description box for this regularly. I picked up two. Now at the time they had like six or seven and I knew I wouldn't move through them fast enough um, before they kind of started to go bad. But with two, because I wash my face twice a day and sometimes more like for dance class, like I'll share shower, you know what I'm saying? uh in the morning get dressed whatever then I will wash my face again to take off my makeup to go to dance class and then when I get back from dance class I'm showering and washing my face again so I go through moisturizer a lot so I got two of these then y'all last year when the, when Sephora was having their Sephora sale in the spring I had tried the Kapari shower oil because I think I was telling y'all that um I really like shower oils over shower gels even though there are some shower gels here but y'all, the regular price on their shower um, oil is $24 to $28. I picked up three of these for $12.99. So basically almost half off. I picked up three of these. Listen, I listen, you know, I love me a little high end. I love me a luxury. But if you want to give it to me on a discount, <laughs> I will take it. So I picked up three of those. So that should last me a while. I forgot to bring in, I also picked up two of their coconut latte, no, three of their coconut latte shower gels. So I am like set when it comes to that. I do like that shower gel. It's a little drying on the skin. I prefer this much better. I do also love the L'Occitane or uh, L'Occitane, however you pronounce it. I love their almond shower oil. But if I want a different scent, I really uh, enjoy that. So keeping in that vein of body care, I also picked up three of these. I just have one is in my shower. I picked up the Capari Lychee Clean Vitamin C Foaming Body Wash. This smells so good. If you like a fruity tropical scent, first of all, I just like lychee anyway. 
I, I, I picked up three of these. I think this is normally $28 or $30 on the website. These were $9.99. $9.99. So picked up three of those. One is currently in my shower. Okay. And then I also picked up from there. I picked up the Capari Coconut Hydrating Body Milk with Coconut Oil, Shea Butter, and Chamomile. So this is a lotion. I'm really excited to try this. It smells great. Oh, it just smells so good. So like, you know, taking a shower with the shower oil, then coming back with the matching lotion, putting on your favorite fragrance, throwing on some loungewear, and then a good like Hallmark winter movie. It's a vibe. Okay. I also picked up from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, y'all, the Capari was hidden. I picked up their Guava Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. I picked up three of these. I think I looked on the website and these were like $34 or $36. Again, I'll have the actual links with the actual prices down below. It smells, oh my God, it smells so good. I've already been digging into this one. Um, it's nice and thick. Let me see if I can show you. It's It's really nice, like it's thick. And put that on there like it's oh and just on the body what the young folks say on the body yaddy yaddy it feels so good so i y'all yeah, picked up three of those because i was looking for some body butters so <laughs> three of those i told you the whole did you buy all that they had these were 16.99 okay and so i picked that up and i think that that's all that i got from home goods I think so. So now let's get into what I got from the cosmetic company outlet store. Okay, I got a, I got a bag right here, y'all. Now I had went to the cosmetics company outlet store before I went to Home Goods, and like I told y'all, I was on the hunt for body butter. So, Origins, which is a brand that I am really enjoying, but I know is not like YouTube popular. Um, they had this set of their ginger souffle whipped body cream grapefruit body souffle um so two gingers and one grapefruit it's a three set um these are smaller than their regular size right They're they're like this size still a pretty good size but there's three in here and i think this set was 36 dollars. but then there was something off of it because it was at the cosmetic company outlet yeah, I picked up three three packs. <laughs> so when I tell you I'm good on the body butter, your girl is going to be moisturized. Okay, because in the winter time with the heat and just like all that kind of stuff. And again, with me dancing and all that kind of stuff all the time, I need to be moisturized. So I picked up three of these and I've used these before and I really enjoy them. I particularly enjoy the ginger and the grapefruit scent. I know before they had a three pack and I think there was a like a white tea scent in here and I I didn't like that scent, but I love these body uh, butters. These are, I will say these are thinner. Let me see, because I've got the third set is already in my bathroom because I've already been using it. This is a the texture of this. I don't even know if you can see that is a little thinner. Yeah, you see how it's moving. It's a little thinner than the Capari, but I still really, really enjoy it. Sometimes I layer up and then I put like, you know, some shea butter on, or something on top of it. So really, really enjoy those. Okay. And then I also picked up from Origins there as well. I picked up the Reinventing the Heel Mega Moisture for cr Dry Cracked Feet. Here's the thing. My feet are fine, but I'm now taking dance three days a week. And at least one of those classes, we have to dance barefoot. And so um, it's a lot of wear and tear on the feet or can be. And so I'm trying to stay ahead of that. So I was like, let me get this. Um, to keep my feet nice and soft. Um, but again, and it, it's got kind of a, I don't know if this is peppermint or tea tree oil, but you def it's definitely something that you can tell is keeping the feet together, okay? So pick that up. And then also I um, from the Cosmetic Company Outlet Store, I also picked up two hand washes. And this, uh, again, from Origins, I... I 
I like it. So, like, can you imagine this? And they come in behind with the body butter. And I think I said this before, that their ginger is not, like, sugary sweet. It's kind of, um, like, a more spicy than sweet. These were $21. I think these were, like, six, 40% off, 60% off, whatever. And I just love how, like, simple and clean the design is. And so I can put it in my bathroom and um, let me take that tag off of there. I can put it in my bathroom and it just looks or like in my guest bathroom and it just looks nice and simple and clean and modern and I love it, right? And so, and I feel like it's a, even though it's ginger, I feel like it's a year round scent. So um, because those are gonna be going in like my guest bathrooms where there's not a lot of traffic because it's just me here, I don't necessarily wanna put like a holiday scent that when it's August, you know, and you smelling like pine trees, you're like, Right, because it just didn't get used that fast. Okay, so those are like the bath and body products that I got at the cosmetics company, Alice Store. I did pick up some cosmetics. So I picked up two things from Tom Ford. I picked up his Sunlust Lip Gloss. And I picked this up because I heard Michelle Wong talking about it. Now, normally, if I would have saw something like this, this color, I would not have picked it up. But... I don't know what it is about it, y'all. It just, you. I'm, I'm gonna put a, it's like this sheer gold. I don't know if y'all can see that. But once sheared out over like a new lip, oh, it's so pretty. So I picked up this Tom Ford gloss. I think this was limited edition when it first came out. So um, if you're into just like a little topper moment, like look how pretty that is. Oh, the gold. Like on top of this, please picked that up and then also for Tom from Tom Ford I picked up a cream color for eyes y'all I'm not really a cream um eyeshadow wear but when I saw this color I could not resist let me open this up for y'all I've already stuck my hand in it it is how can I describe it it's definitely a duo or a trio chrome it's like a pinky golden whatever let me see if I can just give you a little a little dab of what it is, right? I'm just gonna put a little bit on this brush. It's so pretty. Um, I've already worn this once. Let me see here. I don't know if you can see that. Like it looks pink, but then it's gold. Oh, it's, anyway, it's super pretty. So I picked that up from Tom Ford. Okay, and then I picked up some lip products from Bobbi Brown. Because, I, you know what, I, Bobbi Brown is just not a brand that I have tried outside of the Vitamin and Rich Face Base. And even then, with the Vitamin and Rich Face Base, I just had a little container. So I picked up three of the crushed lip colors, which I've heard a lot about. So I picked up the colors Dark Chocolate, Blackberry, and Cocoa. So let me, let me wipe this Tom Ford off of here so I can show you the colors. So the first one, this is in the color Coco. That's gonna be like a, a light nude on me. So let me see if I can swatch it. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, that's gonna be like a mauve nude on me. That's gonna be so pretty. So that's Coco. I also picked up this is dark chocolate, which is a darker brown nude for me. So, oh, look at that. I've already worn this one. <laughs> Y'all, I've been holding on to, to do this haul. Oh, that is that is it right there. That is so pretty. And y'all know I love a sheer, balmy. I'm going to talk about what I have on because this is also new. It's not one of the Bobbi Brown colors. But I love a sheer balmy it's not a gloss it's not a lipstick tinted moisturizer situation for like every day and then i picked up a blackberry um i would say that the dark chocolate is probably my favorite of the three so this is this is the color and then i will say what i one of the things that's the color one of the things i've noticed about myself is when it comes to sheer lip colors i actually prefer them to be in the nude family, not necessarily like a red or, or or what have you. So picked up the three shades of the Bobbi Brown. 
and I just, oh, like these two at the bottom. I mean, I, I'm going to do all three. The top one definitely leaves a lip liner, but then the last two, my kind of lips. Okay. And then because I bought all of that, I got two free gifts with purchase. So the first thing that I got um, was this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Supercharged Complex full size. Okay. Like, are you kidding me? I'm definitely going to be using that. Y'all know Advanced Night Repair is, she may be old school, but she that girl. So the eye cream, definitely going to be doing that. And then they also gave me, as a free gift, the Estee Lauder Micro Essence Skin Activating Treatment Lotion. Full size gift with purchase. This because this was right before the holidays. Y'all. Oh. Oh, and it's the glass. Let me smell this. It just smells fresh. Well, it's also got the little safety seal on there. So, but I also got that. And I think that's everything that I got from the cosmetics company outlet store. So let's do what I got at Ulta first, and then we'll do what I got at Sephora, and then what I got for um, my birthday. So, okay. So I only picked up three things from Ulta. Was that it? I don't know why I feel I picked up more things. Oh, I took I took some of it back. Okay. So went to Ulta, picked up a blush from Minted. You probably already know the color. This is in the color Clay Too Much. Very pretty, very similar color to the brush I have on today. Um, very similar to Pat McGrath's Paradise Venus. Let me say this. I've worn this a couple of times. The thing about this blush is it fades on me very quickly. Um, it's beautiful. I love the finish. It's matte, but it's not too matte. Y'all know I love a terracotta um, blush moment. Shout out to Alicia Kinky Sweat if you are watching, which I don't even think she subscribes to my channel. But um, I love a terracotta blush. That's kind of what I have on today. I don't even know what this is. I think this might be like an old elf blush because I just threw some on for uh, breakfast this morning. But... I love it. On me, it's like an everyday, I don't have to think about it kind of blush. I like it. I just wish it lasts a little bit longer. And here's the thing. It's, it's not that it's not, probably not long lasting. I just have oily skin. And so you really got to be, you got to, you got to hold on um, to my face. Okay. So I picked up the minted blush and then I picked up two lip products. Y'all, I feel like, and one of is which what I have on today. I feel like Mac is trying to make a comeback. I feel like I'm seeing them pop up in people's videos here and there talking about different products. I feel like they're catching my eye a little bit more. I feel like I'm being drawn back in a little bit more. I feel like Mac is like, don't y'all forget that we set this thing off, right? That we set off the beauty influencer movement. Yes, there were other brands, but I feel like Mac is like, let us remind you. So they have these glow play what are these called glow play i think they're like lip balms so um i picked up two colors and the color that i'm wearing today is called that tickles and it's kind of you know it's got that slanted you can tell how like moisturizing this is okay um look at that right and i just love how sheer and shiny it is. I'm going to hand swatch it so you can see how sheer and shiny the color is. Oh, but it's, it's so pretty. So I picked that color up and it's kind of like a warmer nude. And then I also picked up the color Grapely Admire, like an actual grape. And so this is the color. Oh, so when I'm wearing my neutral looks and oh, look, look at that color. Do you see? Oh, it's so pretty. I Let me tell you, I, I want to go get back and get more colors. I, I definitely want to go back and get more colors. I enjoy these. Now, this is plastic. They're a great little throw in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't know if y'all like a sheer lip color the way I do. I, I just... There's a time and a place for, you know, a matte liquid lip. There's a time and a place 
for a full cream lipstick and I enjoy that. But it is something about the sheer balms for every day. Even sometimes when I feel like being dressed up and it's like, I want color there, but I don't want color to be the focus. You know what I'm saying? So I'm loving that. So I think that's all that I picked up from um, Ulta. Yes. And then I, I had picked up some other stuff, but I took it back. Okay. So now let's talk about Sephora. Oh, this video is long. Okay. Let's talk about what I picked up from Sephora because I, I participated in the Sephora sale. Let me get all my stuff on the counter right here because your girl was out here. Um, Y'all know when Sephora, when the Sephora sale comes around, I like to really, you know, get some things that I was looking at. And I went back even after the sale and picked up some more things. Okay, so... All right, so first things first, not super interesting. I picked up another Sephora Deep Cleaning Brush and Sponge Shampoo. I really like this. I have been trying a one from EcoTools, and it's fine, but I feel like I have to use way more of it to get my makeup brushes clean. And here's the thing, Sephora be playing, like this be in and out of stock. Like sometimes it is not the easiest thing to find, but now that I live close to a Sephora it should be fine. So I picked up that. I also picked up, y'all, I had a sample of this in one of my videos last year. And I told y'all, I said, I probably will be getting the full size. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Mo Combined Moisturizer. Let me show y'all what it looks like. I've already been using it. So if you see it way down here, I've already been using it. I almost use this like an essence uh, on the skin. So I, I actually shake it into my hand and and wipe it on my face after I do my other toner and like use it like a very lightweight moisturizer in the winter time I, oh, I even though I have oily skin I love this and it's got a very light like rice milk fresh water scent I absolutely I love this I love this so much so I picked that up and then I also picked up another necessary gel deodorant. This is in eucalyptus. Listen, because when I go to dance class, I don't want to offend nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I need something, you know, that's going to keep when I'm sweating. I don't want anybody. When I'm doing ballet and I'm lifting my arms and doing all that and bending over in people's faces. Okay. We want to be fresh. So now let's get into the makeup. <laughs> Let's get into the makeup products. Y'all, this haul, should I be embarrassed? I'm not. Okay, so let's start with the, the least interesting things I picked up. So I picked up two of the Sephora Lychee face masks. So y'all know I'm on this whole curate uh, my beauty journey. And I realized I like face masks, but I prefer sheet masks over like mud mask clay mask things like that and i just love anything lychee gets me i just love a good lychee scented something okay so and those masks even though they're relatively inexpensive i really really enjoy them okay so i also picked up this lip gloss duo from nars because i just wanted something to throw in my purse right now typically I'm not a fan of anything orgasm that NARS makes. I love a lot of I love a lot of NARS products, like a lot. I don't know why they're so stuck on orgasm, but as a gloss, it's not that bad. I would say I probably wouldn't have purchased this full size as a gloss, but if I just needed a little glossy something, um, this is it. And I like the fact that it's kind of like something a little bit more warm tone and something a little bit more neutral. So depending on what lip I had on first, like if I was wearing this and I didn't bring it with me and I just wanted to put this gloss on top, you know, if I was out, I feel like it was work. But then the other color from the Mac that if I wore that out and I had this, I could throw that on top. Right. So, oh, and let me swatch these for you. Okay. Um, cause they're pretty sheer. Oh, okay. That's where you want to go. All right, orgasm is, I don't even know if you can see. See, it's kind of sheery pink. It's like I just wanted a cute small, I didn't want a big long tube. And then this one is called Unbroken. And they both have like a, a little shimmer flex in it. I actually really like Unbroken. I don't know if you can tell the difference. There you go, you can see the difference, right? Again, sheer wash of color. 
And while I do like lip glosses, right? Obviously, I just bought some. It, there is just something about a tinted lip balm. Okay, next. I also picked up the Lancome Serum Infused Volumizing Mascara. Now, y'all, I ain't even gonna hold you. It's the bottle for me. This glass bottle... I do love a volumizing mascara. I love volumizing and lengthening. So we'll see how this does. This, it just, it's sexy. And I just can see it. I don't know. I picked this up. <laughs> I I saw it. So this is like not new. I mean, it came out in 2022, but I saw it. I thought about it for a while and I was like, me want to try it. Okay. So now let's, I picked up some cheek products. I want to say this, okay? So I know I've talked a lot about highlighter and I and I, I, I how I don't really wear highlighter, but I said, Evelyn, give highlighter a try. The thing is, when you are my skin tone level, when your skin is as deep as mine, the highlighter has to be brown. It can't be gold. It can't be bronze. It can't be copper. It has to be brown, right? And I realized that for years, I'm going to show you, this is not part of the haul, but for years, because um, I have hit pan on it, I was using this blush from Matt called Sweetest Cocoa. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so you can you can see that I hit pan on this right, and I realized that I was wearing it like highlight. It's extremely um, shimmery, radiant, whatever, and you can see I've worn a hole in it. And I said, Evelyn, even though people consider this a blush you wore it essentially like highlighter and you loved it i was like so is it that you don't like highlighter or is it that most highlighters don't come deep enough for you until i picked up two i know i've said a lot i don't like highlighters i don't like highlighters and then i thought about it i was like is it that you don't like highlighters because you have oily skin and that's a little bit of but in the winter time sometimes i feel like i'm open to a little bit more of a radiant um finish even with oily skin because it's just dry outside and so here's the thing while this is not part of the haul i have been using this blush from mac for years called sweet as cocoa okay to the point that i have hit pan on it now this blush is extremely shimmery radiant all of that and i realized that i've been using it like a highlighter and so what I realized, I was like, is it that you don't like highlighter or is it that most highlighters don't come dark enough for you? They're gold, they're copper, they're bronze, but they're not brown. Okay. They're not brown. And so I said, yeah, I don't like, like, I know people, my complexion can have worn gold highlighter. Me personally, I don't like the way that that looks right. Because my skin is not gold. And so if it's supposed to be looking relatively natural, it should blend into the skin. My skin is not gold, right? Whereas if you notice a lot of like peachy or beige highlighters, well, that makes sense because if your skin is peachy or beige or tan, it just kind of blends into the skin. It's not sitting on top of the skin. So because I'm doing some makeup resolutions for 2023, I said, you know what? Give highlighter a try. So I picked up Two, I picked up one from Fashion Fair and I picked up one from House Labs by Lady Gaga. Now, I have worn both of these, okay? And I want to say this, the color on these is impeccable. So this is the Fashion Fair. I don't know if you can see the embossing. It's because it's white. It's probably gonna be hard to see. Now, let me say this. I'm not going, th that is a gold one. And it's, uh, I believe it's cream. I am not going to wear that. This brown, this brown though, y'all, let me just, first of all, I want you to see how deep that is. You see how deep that is? That is a highlighter color for me. So if I take my hand and I put it on my hand, right, it's not so obvious. I mean, it's got some color there. It's a little kind of rosy, plummy, right? But I was like... Okay, sheared out, that's not going to look like a streak of gold or silver or copper or bronze or orange, right? Finest blush, but this, look at that. 
It is gorgeous. So that's the one from Fashion Fair. Yes, I paid for two highlighters in one, and I'm only going to use one aside. I guess I might have to try the other side for like a cream eyeshadow or something like that. But then, y'all, this House Labs, this is the House Labs is the one that made me go into the store and be like, you know what? I might try. First of all, the packaging is stunning. You see that it's this, oh, what is this, iridescent, just pink, seafoam, green, white, whatever. It's beautiful. And then... This is the highlight. Highlighter, right? Now they have two brown shades. This one is a more cooler tone than this. This shade is called Chocolate Opal. I forgot to tell you the shade um, from Fashion Fair. It's golden bronze. Okay, the Fashion Fair is golden bronze. First of all, this 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 embossing, I love it. But let me let me swatch. It's so buttery. Look how brown that is, right? So I'm going to swatch it next to the Fashion Fair. So it's a little bit lighter. But do you see how it's not like there's a gold streak down my hand? So can you imagine this sheared out on the cheek? Oh, y'all. I said, okay, make a highlighter for me then. And let me say this. I want to swatch... The sweetest cocoa that I was just talking about. I'm going to swatch that so you can see what I've been wearing this whole time. So let me, so this is the, that's the fashion fair right there. And that is the um, house labs. I'm going to put the sweetest cocoa, which is even lighter, but it's still brown. So you can imagine what these are looking like. Oh my gosh, like I said, it must not be the highlighter, it must be the color. So for my chocolate girls who want a more natural, as natural as you can get with highlight, looking highlight, that house labs and that fashion fair, a much better choice than a gold. Like look, those sheared out are just going to look like luminescent, radiance, wonderfulness on the skin. So I picked those up. Okay. I also picked up a blush. And I wanted this blush. And I was like, you don't need this blush. And is this blush going to show up on your skin? And are you going to be disappointed? I picked up the Gucci blush. Or one of the Gucci blushes. And this is in Warm Berry. This is the deepest shade. First of all, y'all have already seen this. This compact. Oh. I mean, this compact is just. And let me say this. I've already, I've already worn this blush several times. This blush is like the more neutral version of Paradise Venus for Pat McGrath. It's like the perfect winter everyday blush for me. It's so pretty. And this and the gratefully admired lippy from MAC together. It's a look. I it it's so pretty. Let me let me just swatch it for you. You know, blush swatches, I feel like look at that color. I don't know if they do justice. Oh, it's so, please. It's like this terracotta grape. And it's called a luminous matte blush. And that is so hard to describe until you put it on the cheek. Oh, and these are refillable. It's so pretty. It's so, it's, oh. It is. Okay. So the last... One, two, three, four, five things for, that I got from <laughs> Sephora <laughs> um, are lip products. Well, and then I got some, I got some fragrance samples. I got um, Angel Share from Killian. I got Gucci Guilty, which I think is a man's fragrance. And then this Way um, sample. So that's going to go in my little sample drawer. So I picked up three of the Merit Signature Lips because I had heard how wonderful these are. And y'all, 
I will have to agree. I've already worn two of these. Okay, my camera cut out again. Okay, I don't know where it picked up. But anyway, I was sharing with you the Merit Signature Lippies that I picked up. I picked up three shades. And the first shade I swatched is Tiger. Love the packaging on this. And this is the shade. And I was just saying, y'all, like that terracotta, it just has me in a chokehold. And again, this sheer formula, ugh. Like, I feel like last year I bought blushes, I bought foundations, and I bought eyeshadow palettes. And I was like, I really wanted to have some variety in my lip color wardrobe. And I had heard so many good things about this Merit um, Signature Lip. Again, that balmy, sheer, oh, that's just, tell me that's just not a pretty throw it on everyday color okay the second color i picked up was la Vanu. okay la Vanu. okay and oh look at this look at this color so i'm gonna swatch that look at that i feel like this is a richer version of um what i picked up from mac that's so pretty i will say in these kind of colors though like in the burgundies and stuff like that the sheer and the deeper colors, I love the sheer and the more like neutral colors. And then this is like a pinky color. I picked up the color Fashion. And I'm going to swatch that for you as well. I've worn this. Um, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that color. And this is going to go really good with the eyeshadow palette that I got for the holidays, like as a gift. Okay, so those are the three merit signature lips tiger obviously being my favorite but i i do i do enjoy all of them okay y'all i told you this is a massive haul i have two more lippies and then i'm sharing with you an eyeshadow that a uh, palette that i got as a gift so i picked up the this is freck beauty um they, I think they first came out with the faint, fake freckles, but this is their Makeout Club Soft Blur Lipstick, and this is in the shade Batty. Now, this is a matte lipstick, but the color, okay? So, this is, this is what the packaging looks like. I love this slim packaging, and if it looks a little crusty, it's because I had already swiped these, because, y'all, I couldn't wait. Okay, so I'm going to swipe it down here. Look at that color. That's it right there. Y'all! Y'all know, I must have a thing with these kind of colors. And it actually reminds me of, um, that's it right there. Oh, with a brown lip liner, please. This also is a good reflection of the Merit Signature Lips. But this is Freck Beauty. It's a, it's a soft matte. I really enjoy it. I love the slim packaging of it all. I love that color. I think this was one of the darkest shades. But like, if you want a, a, a everyday neutral lip from our very rich girls in a matte, and then you just line this with a little bit of a, a lip liner, please. But then you could throw that Tom Ford gloss on top, please. Okay. And then the last lip balm that I picked up was from Gucci. And I have been wanting to try their lip products for a while. I just never got around to it. First of all, can we talk about how cute this bullet is it's weighty it's uh, it's just gorgeous and here's the thing yes are there drugstore products that are probably just as good sometimes maybe better yes but i want the full experience i want the i want the customer service i want the client experience i want the pretty packaging every time i pull this out same thing with the blush every time i pull it out it's just like the packaging is gold and it's pink and it's heavy and it sits there I, I just, I want the whole experience, right? Makeup is my hobby, and so I like luxury makeup, right? So for me, the process of putting on makeup is the fun part for me, right? Like, I like the end result, but the process of putting it on is so enjoyable to me. And so I want my tools and my, my ingredients, if you will, to be pretty. So this is a lip balm. This is another tinted lip balm. <laughs> shocker evelyn and this is in the star uh the color penelope Penel penelope plum okay so um click closure but very very weighty gold on the inside i've already worn this look at this it says plum it's giving terracotta 
that's it right there. Oh, look, oh, it's so pretty. It's like a rosy terracotta. You can see compared to the um, Merit Tiger, how orange yellow that is. And this color, am I pointing the right, that color, the, the stripe across right here is the Gucci. It's, oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to explore more colors. They also have a sheer lipstick that I want to try. And I'm like, yes, please. And thank you. Okay. So this is the Gucci lip balm in the shade Penelope Plum. And I, I'm going to say this though. Their swatches online, even though they're on somebody who is even darker than me, it don't do it justice. This is so much prettier um, in person. That's such a pretty color. Oh. Look at these look at these colors. Look look at look at look at these colors. All of them. Just like I feel like that's a good wardrobe of colors, right? And then you throw in like the neutrals from Bobby Brown and it's a party. Okay. So, got the lipstick of Gucci. Now, I did get Burberry her as a birthday gift, but I didn't have it in here with me and as a holiday gift, I got Pat McGrath, Mothership 10, Moonlit Seduction. Now, I have lots of thoughts about what's happening with Pat McGrath, but I'm going to keep those to myself because I still love the motherships, okay? And when I tell you I love this one, is oh, I, I love it. I've As you can see, I've already worn it. It's, it's so pretty. I'm not going to swatch it because Pat McGrath can be... I actually have on Pat McGrath today. This is, what palette is this? Um, I actually have my blush in the crease, but I have on, I have this palette and I have that green tapped on my eyelids and that's it. Like, oh, I've already worn this palette. It's, it's gorgeous. So, um, yeah, it's not as pinky as the last couple of ones. And I think I appreciate that. So now I have two four six wait a minute two four five i have six of the black motherships right so i probably could rank them i mean i don't have all 10 um i don't know if i'll ever have all 10 or if i even want all 10 but i've already gotten a really gorgeous look out of this so pretty and because these are artistry palettes like i would use this color and that color as blush on the face please so, y'all, listen, that is my massive haul. I don't think I'm leaving anything else. I'm going to link everything down in the description box. I'm pretty good on stuff for a while. I say that. But then there's this brand that has these bronzers that I want to try. Because I haven't really tried a variety of bronzers. And this particular brand has some bronzers that tickled my fancy. And they've got some... They've got some sheer lippies as well. So, <laughs> um, plus, you know, what am I going to buy myself for my birthday? So, um, even though my birthday, as the day I'm filming this is like four days after my birthday. So, but I have a gift card uh, that I got over the holidays and a good friend of mine sent me a nice little something through Apple Pay. So, she was like, buy yourself something nice. And I was like, I might. My, I might head over to Neiman's or Saks tomorrow, okay? But that is my haul, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy these. I get really excited. Plus, I, I enjoy seeing people, I like what people are into, what they buy, what they like, what they get excited about. Particular people who have my skin tone. Like, I watch a variety of people, but it's like when you're like, oh, you're buying high-end or luxury and, and I can see like how it swatches on your skin. That's super helpful. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Peace.